It's author Sandra Wilson and I'm here in the Kindness Kangaroo Library for another story time session. Today's story is Confident Cactus Searches for Magic by Danielle Santos. It's not just the cutest little cactus. I didn't think cactuses were cute until now. So as usual with all our stories, if you check the description below the video, you'll be able to find a link so that you can get your own copy of Confident Cactus Searches for Magic. And at the end of this video, we'll have some ideas to be able to write a story yourself inspired by this one. Okay, is everybody ready? We're gonna start the story of Confident Cactus Searches for Magic. They say there is magic when we speak, but only if you search within deep. Hmm, what kind of magic is he looking for? I search the valleys and the roads. I asked my friends, Mr. Snake and Mr. Toad. I tried to find it in a hole. I spent so long, it began to get cold. I wondered where this magic could be. Maybe it's something I need to believe. I wondered what this meaning was. Was I the cause of it not showing up? For everyone I saw had a smile, and I haven't felt that for a while. I tra tried to make myself better by buying a hat, but it looked so funny, I gave it to my friend Bat. I tried to buy the latest toy, but it only gave me temporary joy. All these things that surrounded me, but yet I didn't feel happy. I wandered and I walked. What was this magic they speak of? I crossed the valley, I crossed the road. I waved at my friends, Mr. Snake and Mr. Toad. They asked me what's the matter, so I told them why I was bothered. Do you know of this magic they speak? I've searched the valleys and the peaks. Oh, confident cactus, that magic is not out there. It's in here. Look back at your day and tell me if it looks the same. When you cross the street, you passed us, your friends, Mr. Snake and Mr. Toad. Oh, what a day you made just by saying hello. When you bought your hat and gave it to the bat, he came alive after that. This magic that we speak doesn't lie in things, but the moments you share giving. The moments you share with the people you see is the true magic that makes the world happy. So that's a really kind of a cool lesson that Confident Cactus learned, that although he was having trouble feeling happy himself, he was actually making other people happy. And learning that actually started to make him feel happier. So it's interesting how we can help other people find their joy and in itself that brings us joy as well. So I hope you enjoyed the story of Confident Cactus and I hope maybe it inspires a story of your own. Let's take the example of the emotions. I loved that Confident Cactus told us that he wasn't very happy and hadn't been happy for a while because sometimes those emotions that bring us down aren't always recognized in stories. Everybody's always happy and, and excited and joyful. You know, sometimes being sad is still important because we need to learn and recognize those feelings and what are causing those feelings. So let's think about that. What were you feeling while you were hearing the story? What did you feel like before the story? You know, when you got up this morning, what did you feel like yesterday? Was there a moment where there were some emotions that were maybe bringing you down a little bit? That's okay. We're allowed to be down a little bit, but what's important is that we discover why we're feeling a little bit down. What are causing those emotions? And is there something we can do to maybe make a difference? So when Confident Cactus was feeling down, it didn't stop him from sharing kindness with his friends, you know, sharing a smile and a wave, you know, giving away a hat that he didn't like. It didn't, and then in exchange, he actually was making other people happy. And when he learned that, that made him happy. So that was a way that he could take that emotion that was bringing him down and it had a little bit of movement and change in how he felt. So let's think about our emotions and what's causing them why are we feeling the way we're feeling? And what can we do um, about that in a story? So create a character that has those emotions. And if it's emotion that's bringing them down, 
what can we do as a story to show how those emotions can be brought back up? If it's an emotion that is bringing them up already, what can we write in a story to talk about how we could share that with other people and maybe bring other people up as well? So emotions can add a lot of different things to a story, but it also helps us recognize in ourselves the emotions and the reasons for them and things that we can do with them. So I hope you write a great emotion story and I hope you have a chance to share it with me. Now, make sure that you join us for the next storybook session and we'll have another great book. Thanks everybody, bye.